Okay, great. So we're going to do a little bit of glazing here. This is a flat, super flat absorbent latex background. This is a little more tricky because you really, the ground absorbs a lot of the medium. Well, for that we're using a full body uh, proceed, which I, I tinted it, raw umber and raw sienna for this particular color. So, a couple of things we want to do. First of all, we're going to apply the glaze. So for that we're using GLZ 17, size 16. It's nice, it's got a lot of meat, it's a little square, and what we do is we apply it kind of heavy and little brush strokes like this, and really lather the surface with that brush so we get a nice ground. I'm using another brush, it's called Cocktail. Mine is a little used dog, because I've been using it, and it's kind of thin and small, and even though it's that size, it covers a lot of surface, and I'll show you why. So the way I hold it, I hold it in the a quack motion here on my on between my thumb and my index finger and that way I can close it and then with my finger here I can give it a little bit of width by putting a couple fingers into the brush like that my elbow I do a pendulum like this as I'm moving around you see my elbow go up and down giving me a different text uh, brush texture every time and that's very quick up, 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 up. Once in a while, you're going to wipe it off, so it's kind of dry. It's a dry technique, it's called a negative technique. And look, I'm going to do this thing. It doesn't take very long. I'm pushing it, and I'm putting pressure. You see the brush, what it does? I let it go. There's a lot of pressure. But that little pressure moves the glaze and create a beautiful texture very quickly. A lot faster than a rag or a cheesecloth in a very similar fashion. And look how I'm getting into right into this corner without disturbing the previous work. This is the key thing here.